this week on Channel Easy 2017. To promote the return of our 61st season of action, we present to you a special fall preview engagement. A special double length episode featuring individual and tag team plays all in the same program. And later, we'll have information on a new Women's Division episode with a special host and announcer. But by now, let's welcome the host of the Men's Division Challenge for 2017, and here he is, Mr. Brandon Shaddix! Thank you, Paul, and welcome to our special fall preview engagement of Channel Racing 2017. We are coming to you live from New York City. And how is everybody doing in New York City today? Very good. Well, let's get the show on the wall, Paul. This is going to be an exciting one. You'll never forget a special double length episode. So, who do we have for our first race of the individual men's division play? Alright, Brandon, first up we have Sharp Dixon, Big Cherry Tommy Days, Ramon Shorte, and Fred Henderson. It should be an exciting engagement, so let's make this preview a good one. As always, our races will be held on the Emma course, and let's send it down to the field for the first time. The players will line up and ready to go, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! And we're on the way for our special fall preview engagement. I hope we, everyone has a good summer and we hope to look forward to our official season return on September 3rd. But right now we're showing off a special engagement for all you players who are getting ready to pump up for the return. Right now it is Ram One Short Day who has command in the camera one, following the close second by Big Cherry Tommy Days. As the first superstar against Beavers. As the two child fly down the aisle, first superstar against Beavers is Number one, who's also heading for the water camera, and right now he's turning for a moment, trying to get some attention here. As number seven, who is sleeping for a while, takes Beavis number two in this race, trying to catch up to number eight in heavy. And right now, Big Cherry Tommy Days has made a pass from Man Watch on the other camera. As the next Beavis we made by number eight, who leads number seven in the dust. Still a long way to go, he wants to get back in this one. And Tommy Day scores. That means Van Wan Chante will move us to catch him too. Now he has the privilege of battling with Tommy Day for the lead up at the front. As Chuck Dixon will get a turn now, trying to catch up to Fred Harrison and number two in a hurry for third place. And right now, number seven is getting left behind in competition and trying desperately to get back in this one hand in the pack or behind the pack. He's going to need a couple of speeders if he wants to get back in this one. This is the first of them that makes his second speed of the race. Meanwhile, back right front, Ramon Chante and Tommy Days are battling for the lead up in the front. They're both climbing up the wall neck by neck. Which one of them will have the upper hand at the home stretch? We'll find out just a matter more for now. Back to number 7 as he continues to find car. That got a little more room, but he's still in the last place that pack. And right now, Chuck Dixon really needs some help. If he wants to catch up to Ramon Chante and Tommy Days, battling for the lead at the home stretch. Right now, it is number two who gets a turn now after taking a nap. And now he's going to pass to number eight because he's going to rest the time one. And back at the home stretch, it looks like Big Cherry Tommy Day is going to hold on man one short day. And Chuck Dixon, who are battling for second place on the pack. As number one says bye bye to the Silver Child with next Beavers. Big Cherry Tommy Day is for real for the first place of our special one gaming show. Man one short day will come in second, and Chuck Dixon will have to sell for third. Thank you for opening up this fence for all your support. We'll see you all in two weeks. And congratulations to you, Tommy Nate. You get away on number one. And it's War Sunday coming up. We're just getting started. Do not go away. Alright, Paul. Now it's time for race number two. Race number two will feature the Crime Buster Police member Steve Williamson, Will Winks, and a former Blue Black File, the Bobby Man of Bobby K, and Chris Schneider of the Classic Go Getters. They have warm up for the race and are all ready to go, so let's rock this place! And there goes the next four participants pushing on the line, and it looks like Willingson and I think Chris Schneider is going to have some overcomes with each other. That means Musty Williamson and Bobby K will have the opening edge up in the front, as Musty and Bobby are shaking the palm trees, and now they're going to eat the food, and it looks like Musty Williamson is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby K decided to dance in the beat. So, Rusty Williamson, the crime buster policeman, will have full control of the lead up in the front, as number 7 wins the win toss this time around, dominating in fair ways at the camera, 
And right now, it looks like Willington and number 8 are getting left behind in competition. Willington is trying to head for the water at the current moment. As Beavis number 2 in his face, we may ride the prototype wizard, Chris Schneider, who is bowing in number 2 for 4th place. And it looks like the bomb made a bomb K is battling with Leslie Williams and Bagger Marine. Wellington is trying to join along in a freeway battle for the other fun. As number one will get a turn now, trying to hold on number eight for six plays of attack. They're getting left behind. But guess who's really left behind? It's number seven, who's getting way behind in the competition. He's trying to catch up with the crowd. Will we get speed by the You bet he will. But he's gonna need a lot more help in that same game. Will we get some more or we'll be done for? We'll find out soon enough. And back by fun, it looks like Will Wingson is battling with uh, the Bobby and Bobby K at the one. As Rusty Williamson will get a turn out of the climate situation from Bulls and Massachusetts, not too far away from New York City. And he's battling with the others in the heli. And down goes Chris Schneider, that's gonna cause a serious damage. But he gets his speed, but let's try to get back in this one. I don't think. Right now, numbers 1, so they on getting left behind the competition. They're getting left behind for sure. Back to Chris Schneider we go. And look at that. Some of going to sweep. Looks like Will Inkson and Bobby K are going rest. So Chris Schneider will move up. Can't hear do. But I do believe the crime buster, Rusty Williamson, is going to hold on for the lead. Back him in front. Yep. It looks like Will Inkson will get another turn, making his experience space. But it's Rusty Williamson who gets the job done. The crime buster, Rusty Williamson, is the winner of this race. Bobby King comes in second, and Williamson comes in third, but very behind Chris Schneider. Alright, so Rusty Williamson gets the win, and we are right back with more science action after this. Do not go away. Okay, let's proceed to race number three. Alright, race number three will feature Al here and Senior, the license to drive, who currently is tied with the best record at 11 3 at the current win. He's going to face the steel cuts and Aaron Miller. Thomas Linglider and Nick Saiwan. Don't forget, he still has a tag team race coming up because this is a special double life episode. Special to promote the preview of the return season. Anyway, please start the race! And there they go, busting down the lock. And it looks like Aaron Miller is part of us. So let's watch Al Hand Senior, Thomas Linglider, and Nick Saiwan. These three will be battling for the up in the front. I wonder which one will really have command after they eat the food. <clears throat> well, it looks like Nick Sidewalk's going to have command early up in the front, and number eight is going to rest. And so is number two, as Nick Sidewalk heads for the water. And the first superstar against Beat Bus is Thomas Wingrada, who is fighting on the bridges of the current one. Right now, a couple of channel pausing for a moment. <clears throat> As the next BS we made by number one, who is catching up to Gibbs and Hurry, and look at that! Aaron Miller, after taking a nap, takes a shortcut! He now has command of the lead, he's not giving up on his dreams just yet, at least for coming back next season. Well, anyway, number two will have a turn now, trying to lead over the fourth, so trying to come on, and Allen here, senior, in the back. Right now, it is Nick Sign one and Tom Swinger, who are battling for second place, as the license is a drive. Allen here, senior, gets the next command, Speedbus. But even with his great power, I don't think he'll have a chance to catch up with Steel Cut and Miller, who is way ahead of the competition. And right now, number 7 and number 1 are getting left behind the competition, as number 8 will get a turn now, trying to lead over the 4th, so it shall have come on. <coughs> and right now, the Steel Cut and Aaron Miller is approaching the home stretch, as in front of Waterfall, as the next team is we made by Nick Sidewalk, that one the time is going on for the second place right back. <coughs> yep. I don't think even his power won't be able to catch up to the seal cut air at time. Well, he's off and running, but I think he's going to be tamed. So, back to Nick Sidewalk, and he dominates over second place because Thomas Lincoln is going to rest. But it's the steel cut and air who gets the job done. The steel cut and air who gets the victory. Yeah, it's number seven, one of the next command skills. After having only one win in the spring portion of the season, air Miller gets his long away second win of the season. He's not giving up to us, we're making the car towards next season. As number one, we'll get a turn now, and I do believe that is going to do it for this race. Yep, that's it for this race. <clears throat> Alright, so the Steel Cut and Elmer is starting to head back in the right direction in this 2017 season. But let's see how long it will last in the early one. Back in a bit, do not go away. And now let's do race number four, Paul. 
You got it. Race number four will feature Aaron Holmes, who was one of the finalists in the last year's World Championship, along with Dave Miller and Miller Trainers, Richard Hasselhoff, and Norman Finer. The players are not ready to go, and we'll side for another side race not far from your special, so let's do it. Everyone's on the clock, and let's have a challenge. And it looks like Alan Holmes is going to rest. That means he's going to have a lot of catching up to do when he wakes up from his nap. And it looks like Norman Finer is going to join Alan Holmes for D-Live as he takes a rest as well. By now, it looks like Dave Miller and Rich Hasshoff are battling for the lead up in the front, and it looks like Richard Hasshoff is dancing. And there goes Dave Miller. He's going to have a command on the lead up in the front. And it looks like he is going to be heading for the water. As number 8 wins the winning toss for this race, he's also heading for the water to come on. By the way, he looks at it. And right now, number 1 back in the back is getting left behind in the competition. Trying desperately to get back in this one. And number 2 is going to rest. Trying to get some attention here. Yeah. As number 5, another 2010 World Champion takes the next command for us. Right now, it is Dave Miller back in my front who has to lead the Camoran over Norman Final, who is safely in second place, battling with Aaron Holmes in the Camoran. As the next PS win made by Richard Hasshoff, who is catching up to Aaron Holmes in third place right now. Oh, wait, fourth place right now. Meanwhile, number eight is leading over the four Stewart Challenge, trying to lead the young Stewart Challenge in the dust. He's doing a pretty good job keeping up with the pace of in the front of Stewart Challenge. And who will get the next command speed rest? It is Richard Hasshoff. After pausing for one, he gets the next command speed rest. Meanwhile, it is Dave Miller, who continues to lead over Norman Final up in the front. Will Dave Miller prevail over Norman Final at the end? We'll find out soon enough. Back to Richard Hasshoff as he continues to lead over, over four plays. That makes three speed bus so far for Richard Hasshoff in this race. And right now, number two is getting left behind a confidential eye spec. So the next video is going to be made up in the front, and it's going to be made by Roman Finer, who's trying to lead, make the pass over Dave Miller for the lead of Cameron. I do believe he's going to hold off Dave Miller for the bit yeah. So number Finer is going to win this one as the Charles Hall gets a four speed bus, but he is spending the one in third place ahead of Alan Holmes. And it looks like Roman Finer has his legs all around the way, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Finer wins this one. He prevails over Dave Miller and the Cowboy. As Alan Holmes, a little disappointment third place, will close up the speed of the race. So, Norman Finer gets a bit between trying to get enough wins in for a try his second title. We'll soon know. We'll be back with more after the break. Okay, time for the next race, Paul. You got it. Race number five will feature Vince Dyson, Brian Christian, Evan Shiningo, and Hal Miller, the Miller Trainers who is the top contender in running for the fall portion of the 2017 season here on Chow Racing. Let's see how fast he'll run in this race. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this place! And there goes Hal Miller, resting down the line. He is currently at 5-9 and nine in the current one after 14 weeks of play, but I think his running should be able to get at least a lot of wins this season for the second half of the show. And there he goes, resting down the line. Let's watch the other three superstars now. Who's going to have command on second place? It looks like it's going to be Vince Dyson who's going to have command on the second place because Brian Christian and Evan Shining are both dancing to the beat. As Brian Christian wins the only toss for this race, leaving the others in the dust. By now, Evan Shining is trying to get back in this one. And it looks like he's going to be heading for the water as he takes speed bus number two in this race as he lands in the water swimming like crazy. Why now, it is Hal Miller who currently leads. Oh, if it stays in the come one, I think he's going to run away from this stays in just a few seconds from now. Yep, with the next command speed run, it is number seven who gets it. And he pauses for a moment. That will drop down the place. He was leading over the four silver on the come one. By now, number eight is getting left behind the competition as number one will get a turn now. Trying to battle with number seven for the lead over the four silver channel. And yes, Al Miller does indeed have... A little more room to spare over Vince Dyson. That's why Christian gets to number 10. That makes it his second speed of the base. Curry Bowling to Evan Shane Ingle for fairways attack. Al Miller is the first to push the wall. And in just a few seconds from now, he'll really have some room over Vince Dyson there. Yep, I think he's going to get a win this one. Next speed of belongs to number 1. Who's trying to lead numbers 2 and 8 in the dust. Number 8 is getting left behind in the competition. I don't think he'll get a speed rest by the time he reaches the wall. Yep, he hit the wall first. So who will get the next one? It's going to be Evan Shenango, who's going to pass by Christian for third place after taking a nap for a while. 
back him in front. It looks like Alan Miller has his face all wrapped up for Vince Dyson up in the home stretch. I don't think Vince Dyson will be able to catch up him in a hurry, as he will have the next command speed. Alan Miller and Miller trainers for Bills will make easy bid three. You know, we still count as winning, so Alan Miller will be at 6-9 and nine with that wonderful win. Great job by Hal Miller. And we have just enough time for one more speed race, and it will be made by Brian Christian making his first speed race for Mace. So, Hal Miller gets the job done. Let's see how the rest of the season will feel in his final speed. Coming up, we got more exciting action for you, but first, have a look at this. Alright, we're halfway through the individual race, but I have to be present race number six. And it will feature what? Race number six will feature. David Howley, the 2015 Rising Stars Champion, our defending champion, the male futurist Chalou Pickles, Lewis Charleston, and for the luck of the Irish Islands, Fabulous Warrior Stealing Man, or the Irish Warrior on the World. Everyone's on the grog, and let's have a chow race! <coughs> and it looks like David Howley and Chalou Pickles are going to rest down, thus giving Lewis Charleston and Stealing Man command on the opening edge, and it looks like Lewis Charleston is going to rest as well. So, Stealing Man, the Iron Shwana Underworld, Iron Spider's Warrior, we have full control of the upper front, and it looks like he's dancing to the beat. That will give a couple of Silver Child the opening edge up in the front, and right now it is Louis Charleston who has command of the best position so far in third place, as Stealing Man, Iron Spider's Warrior, takes the only toss for this race. He is heading for the one along with Louis Charleston. David Howie and Mel Fusion's Child Lupe was better hurry up if he wanted to get back in this one. They're also heading for Wana as number 8, who has Beavis number 2 in this race. Trying to catch up to our leader, Stealing Man, in a hurry. I do believe he's one of the fastest swimmers of this race, by the way he looks at it. Yep, as the next Beavis we may buy, number 7, and Stealing Man's with us. That means number 8 will have command of the lead for the moment. And meanwhile, number 2 is getting left behind in the competition all the way back. We passed the 1 minute mark as the next Beavis we may buy, the 2015 Rise of Champion himself. David Howe is going in 4th place on the pack. Number 8 currently has the lead with number 7 right on his tail in 2nd place. And it looks like number 7 pauses for a moment. And who will get the next command speed race? It's back to David Howe, the 2015 Rise of Stars champion. Back to Michael Pires for the 2015 Rise of Stars champion. And poor number 2 is getting left behind still. But the next speed race going to be by the Metal Fusion of itself. On defending champion, Chalu Pickles. I don't think he'll make it all the way down. <coughs> or first place, in fact. And number two has no whole force of mind whatsoever as he hits the wall. And it's back to David Howie again with his first speed bus of the base. And right now, number two is getting all alone in last place. And he's going to rest. Just as And who got the next one? It is number one, a stealing man rushes through the water. And he is the winner of this race as we approach the individual halftime break. His swimming strategy paid off and he beats number 8 with style. And it was Charleston up in the front. Great job. As Chalu Pickles, a little disappointing will happen with close on speed race. They only passing number 7 for 6. And number 2 just can just forget about this race. So Stealing Man gets the job done. He was one step closer to his victory. And we will get back right with the second half on the individual set. The Wii percent worth from this. Alright, welcome back to our fall preview special. It's time now to present the second half of our individual places. Who do we have for race number 7, Paul? Race number 7 will feature the next championship superstar, Antonio Bennett of the Classic Go-Getters, Ricky Nelson of the Go-Getters 2.0, Frank Funantaro, and Hunter Brown. These four have been warming up since summer camp and are all ready to go. Let's do it. Please start the race. Alright, here comes the next four superstars busting down the rainbow path at the current moment. And it looks like Frank Funantaro is going to So he's going to be left behind the competition for a while. Meanwhile, the other three superstars are chicken the palm trees. Right now, they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Ricky Nelson. He is going to have a command of the lead up in the front of the pack. And Ricky Nelson is going to rest. That means Antonio Bennett, the next generation superstar, will have a command of the lead. As the first superstar, I guess, be the star of the second half of the individuals is Frank Fernandez, who's trying desperately to catch up in the crowd. But now it's number 8 who's really way behind as he joins Frank Fernandez in the water. As Beaver's number 2 in this race, we may buy number 2, who's trying to hold on number 1 over at the bridges. But now it's the next generation superstar, Antonio Bennett, who's trying to defend the lead over Vicky Nelson at the current moment. 
as number one will get a turn out, try to lead number eight in the dust. And right now it is Hunter Brown and Frank Wanatan who are battling for third place, and Hunter Brown is scoreless. That means he's better to drop down the last place over the competition. That means he's going to need a couple of speed bursts if he wants to get back in this one. And this is the first of them that I think that's always going to get for a while. At least for a moment. Meanwhile, Mickey Nelson is trying to hold up the next series of Antonio Bennett, who we got the lead after handing off to Antonio Bennett during this area on the race. Will we hold on for the lead? We'll find out soon enough. Next plus belongs to number two, who's trying to gain some ground over the rest of the competition, and poor number one is getting left behind. Number seven is also getting left behind, but I do believe they're going to hit the wall first, as Hunter Brown climbs up the wall, wall real fast. And it's the next generation to subside. Antonio Bennett will get the next command spears. Hunter Brown is catching up to the two in a hurry. And right now, who will have the lead at the home stretch? I do believe it's going to be the next generation to subside. Antonio Bennett, who's going to hold on for the lead or up in the home stretch. As number eight will get a turn now. And it looks like number seven to us, giving Frank Van Antonio some catching up to do. But I think he's giving that high. At the next series of Superstar, Tony Bennett holds off Biggie Nelson to secure an easy victory. Great job by the next series of Star himself. As Hunter Brown, a little disappointed with third place, spent the quarters on Spears. By the way, it looks excited. Yep, that is indeed it. So the next series of Superstar, Tony Bennett gets another easy victory. Try to get back on the right track towards the 2018 title chances. Right, there's more something coming out. Do not go away. And now race number eight. Race number eight will feature one half of our defending tag team champions, Chris Finagos, along with Aaron Crosby, Walter Warren Gregson, and OJ Upton, or OJ Upton for short. One half of the defending runner up tag team licenses for Destiny. The players are in a minute to go, so everyone's on the clock, and let's have a chow race! And it looks like Eric Cross for the rest. So let's watch Chris, Walter, and OJ. These three will have command of battling for the up in the front. But which one of them will really have the edge early on in the race? We'll find out soon enough. It looks like Walter Warren Crickson has the edge at the current moment. He's trying to get his first win of the season after being winless in the first half of the program. Well, now he's dominating over the pack in the current moment. As the first superstar against viewers in this race is... Eric Crosby, who's getting left behind the competition. Now he's in for the water. All of number two, who's also left behind the competition. And who will get to be number two in this race? It is OJ Upton. OJ Upton, that is. He now leads over the competition. Hand up Walter Ron Gregson. Boy, Walter Ron Gregson, hurry, better hurry up. He wants to get his first win. As number two will get a turn now. Trying to leave Chris Renaugles. And number one is him in the dust. Right on, Chris Minocles really needs to catch up to do in the early run. Who got the next speed bus? It is going to be made by none other than number 8, who's dominating over the force of a child Cowboy, and down goes Walter Roll Gregson. He and Walter Roll Gregson are catching up to OJ Upton at the Cowboy, and it looks like number 8 pauses for one, trying to get some attention. So Walter and, and OJ will be battling for the lead up in the front. Next Spears belongs to Chris Van Arkles, who's trying to lead numbers 1 and 7 in the dust. Numbers 1 and 7 are battling for deal up. They really need to get back in this one. But let's head back to Chris Van Arkles as he climbs up the wall with all his power strength up to the wall and heading into the home stretch. Right now it is Walter Lord Crankson who is leading over RJ, RJ Upton or OJ Upton up at the home stretch. And number 8 will get another turn. That makes his second spear space. And back in the home stretch, it looks like OJ Upton is going to lead Walter Ron Craigson and win for one more race. Sad to say. As number 8 gets back to back speeders, making 2 in a row by 2 in a row for him and Chris Monarchos. OJ Upton holds a win with Walter Ron Craigson to secure an easy one. What a deal. As number 7 will cross on speeders race. So OJ Upton gets the job done. Don't worry, Walter Ron Craigson might win eventually. Back in a bit, do not go away. And welcome back to our special double length fall preview episode of Chow Racing 2017. Still to come in the individual portion of the show, we got Al Heenan Jr. trying to repeat as Superstar of the Week, well, technically, against three other superstars. But right now, let's head over to race number nine. Paul, you know what to do. 
Alright, we have an idol feature. Kenny Days and the Days Brothers, Donald Lennox, Gary Coles, and Gordon Lambert. There's the lineup for this race. And back to the field once again for another side edition. Is everybody ready for another side edition? Well then, please start the race! And it looks like Gordon Lambert's for us. That means Chris Kenny Days, Donald Lennox, and Gary Coles will have the opening edge at the current one. We'll find out which one will pay off or not in the early one. Here comes the free challenge to get the pollen trees. They're bringing down that coconut shake fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And who has command on the up of the front? It's going to be Kenny Nays of the Days Buzz. Followed by Gary Carlson in second place right back. And who will get the only cards as the two child head for the water at the common one? It's number two who gets the only cards this time. As he has for the bridges, trying to gain some ground. And right now, guess who really needs to catch him to do is Star Winnings. And there we go, swimming like crazy. While I'm out of water. As Beavis number two of this race will be made by Gordon Lambert, who's trying to catch up with the bridges. He is way behind for a while at the current point. Right now in the front, it looks like Kenny Day has a company. Gary Goals and Donald Lennox are both catching up to him in a hurry. Who got the next Beavis? It is number one, that's who. Trying to lead number seven in the dust. And poor number eight is getting left behind in the competition as we pass the one minute mark of this race. Poor number eight really needs to get some help, and he will. He gets a speed bus, but I think he's going to need a lot more catching up than what he wants to take in this one. Meanwhile, Kenny Nays has a little bit more room over Gary Calls and Donald Lennox, but Donald Lennox is surely one of the best swimmers of the league for the fall portion of the course. We'll find out soon what happens in the hall stretch. Next Spears belongs to Gordon Lambert. That makes his sex Spears race. Going to try to catch up in four places back. And by now, the Sarah Charlie in the back are battling for two life with number seven in Demi in last place. As Gary Coles will get the next command spears, try to catch up to Kenny Days, but Donald Manning should be on his way, and there we go, missing that lot. He's going to make the pass from Kenny and Gary, and he is going to win this one with all his swimming strength. As number two takes the next speed must, Donald Manning pulls off Kenny Days and Gary Coles with an amazing speed, swimming speed and skill. So Donald Manning moves another way closer towards fulfilling his chance of his 2018 title chance. What a deal. At number two, better to close this one out with back to back Beavis. That should close out the Beavis, by the way. Yep, that's gonna do it for this race. All right, so with that swimming ability, it is Donald Reddings who got the win. That's right, but how long was we will last? We'll soon know in the only one. Coming up, we got more sign action for you, but first have a look at this. All right, Paul, time for the next one. Alright, race number 10 will feature Luke Green, Jeff Dallas, the Gundam Star Master, Gary Dayton, and Jerry Lang, who's all prepped up after a long summer of practice. Let's make it happen. Everyone's on the clock, and they're off. So who's going to win this next race? Only time will tell, as the fans cheer on for all of their superstars. And that's when we say, anything can happen in the Jet Racing Universe. Each and every week, including on double length panel for our fall preview to promote the return of Chow Racing 2017. And it looks like it's going to be Jerry Lang, Jeff Norris, and Garrett Dayton who will be battling for the up, up, up in the front as Garrett Dayton wins the Uritas and he takes a shortcut! Great planet! Yeah, the flying and it paid off! Garrett Dayton now has command on the lead. Looks like we might be doing another battle in the Gunner Star this week for our following special. As Luke Green wants to be with us number two of this race. He's trying to catch up with the others in a hurry. He's in second place ahead of the pack. And right now, a couple of Silver Chan getting up behind as number one will get the next turn. Trying to lead numbers two and eight left behind in the competition. Right now, it is Luke Green and Jim Nellis who are battling for second place up in the front. Garrett Dayton, the Gunner Star Master, is safely in the lane ahead of the pack in the in the very front. As the next viewers we made by number seven, who leads over the four silver chow at this very moment, ahead of numbers one and two. Poor number eight, meanwhile, is getting left behind in the competition all the way back. But I don't think we get any viewers for that. Next viewers belongs to Jeff Dallas, who is catching up to Luke Green in a hurry for a battle for second place. Meanwhile, Garrett Dayton is almost at home stretch as number seven, who dominates on the four silver chow, takes another turn, that makes it second speed as the base, and down goes number eight. That's what causes serious damage. 
capacity of course so long. Yeah, that's gonna leave a blue so too good to use that. Anyway, who we got in the next one? It is Jeff Navis that makes his second speed race of the race. But this race is all about Garrett Dayton, folks. You can do the Gunner style. Garrett Dayton is the winner of this race. You can now do the Gunner style, folks. That's number one. While the next command is for us, try to lead numbers to an eight in the dust. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus, and it'll be made by number eight, leading number two in the dust. All my fans are doing the Gunner style. Garrett Dayton wins this one. That's right, you guys just him. And there's more summer coming up. Do not go away. We're almost at our individual main event, but first, let's present race number 11. That's why right, race number 11 will feature the bad boy, John Miller, Rusty Instant Weed Peg Jackington, the Metro Cowboy, Benny Mullen, and a human flame, Glenn Miller. And look at this. This is actually going to be the first race to feature the Gordon Chow as the computer opponents. This is a very interesting indeed. There's a Gordon boy instead of uh, Silver Chow. Anyway, everyone's on the clock, and we start the race. Let's see who will prevail in this first space featuring the Golden Chow as the computer points. And it looks like Benny Moore is going to run, so he's going to have a lot of catching up to do when he wakes up from his nap. The other three superstars are approaching the palm trees, where they're bringing down the fruit. <coughs> and here they come. They're going to eat the fruit now. And who's going to have command on the lead up in the front? It is going to be John Miller, not Sue, with number eight right on his tail in second place. <coughs> and it looks like John Miller is heading for the water. <coughs> As the first superstar against beat this is number seven, who is also heading for the water in the cowboy. And one of the chow are swimming like crazy. Two of the chow, actually. They're both swimming like crazy up in the front. It was like, but seeing as we can jack it in, and Glenn Murray seems like they're two of the best swimmers of the league. As number one, who is way behind the competition, takes B versus number two in this phase. He still needs a long way to go if he wants to get back in this one. But uh, John Miller better watch out and watch his tail. It looks like Rusty is we get Jack is in. And Glenn Murray, of all those swimming pride, is catching up to him bit by bit. And who got the next B versus? It is number two. That's who has Rusty is Jack Jackerton going to rest. Number two dominates over the four Golden Chow and a couple of our uh, superstars. But I don't guess who's getting left behind in the competition. It's number one, not two. But it's Glenn Miller, one of the best swimmers of the league, who will get the next command because he is catching up to our leader, John Miller. John Miller better watch his tail right now. Glenn Miller is rapidly catching up to him. Well, he's got a good eye on swimming. Well, let's see what happens in the other one. Next to us belongs to the Metro Cowboy, Benny Moen, who is trying to catch up with number eight in battle for fourth place. And poor number one is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. He's going to get a speed bus, but that won't be nearly enough to stay in the game. He's getting left behind in the competition still. Anyway, John Miller is going to rest. That means Glenn Miller will move up a couple of feet, catching up to him in a hurry as he approaches the home stretch. As he will get the next command speed bus, and he's making a pass from John Miller. And he should be off and running. And there he goes. He is with me, John Miller, in the dust. For second place. Glenn Moy has to say, all my up to ladies and gentlemen. Glenn Moy with his swimming ability prevails over John Miller. What a deal. As Metro Cowboy, Benny Moore gets another turn. That makes it second speed of the race. And there goes Rossi Eastbrook and Jackson, finishing third behind John Miller. And it looks like we have just enough time for one more speed bus, and it will be made by number 7, who is the other Golden Chow and the Metro Cowboy Benny Mullen in the dust, as he fights for number 1 for d -line. And that is going to do it. So, Brent Murray will lead out to our individual man event. That's my right, and we'll be right back to present our individual man event of our fall preview special after we present a one from this sponsor. Alright, it is now time for our individual main event. That's why it will feature Alvin Hayden Jr., our returning champion, taking on Kyle Leachman, the Harlem Trade West, Efron Kingsley, and Alex Marcuson. Our individual main event is presented by Wendy's, 
who is the executive power partner of Chow Racing 2017. Always feel love for a Chow Racing superstar to eat Wendy's fast food, hamburgers, and food. Keep those donations coming for the rest of the fall season. Everyone is on the cross, so without further ado, let's have a good one. We start the race! Alright, so this is the individual main event. <coughs> in which Alheen Jr. tries to defend his Superstar of the Week title. Technically, against three of well placed superstars. Right now, on the three, three of the four superstars are eating food. And there they go, busting down the line with Efron Kingsley in the lead of the Kevin one. And it looks like Efron Kingsley and Alley Injury are heading for the water as number seven wins here and talks for the second race in the boat. And he's trying to catch up with the others in a hurry. Alley and Junior and Efron Kingsley are rapidly rushing through the water. Now they're out of the water and are heading into the hill as number two takes B West number two in this race, trying desperately to get not to get left behind the crowd. Kyle Leachman is trying desperately to catch up with our leaders in a hurry as number one will get a turn now as Alex Markson pauses for one that will drop down a place and right now number seven and they are battling for two I want to win back. We pass the one minute mark of this exciting race and who will get the next second man's BUS? It is number eight thus leaving number seven and then meet all the way in the back. Meanwhile, FR King Sweet seems like he has company. Kyle Leachman is catching up to him. Al here Jr. is also trying his best to stay alive in the game. Which one of us we will have the edge at home stretch? We'll find out soon. Next BS belongs to number seven. That makes it sex BS in race. And by now numbers two and eight are getting left behind of the competition all the way in the back. And down goes number eight. That's gonna cause a bruise. Serious damage indeed. And who got the next one? It is Kyle Richman back up in front. Now battling with Al here Jr. in the lead at the current moment. FY King Sweet trying to get back in this one. And it's number two again. That makes it a second speed of the base. Now leading over the fourth to a challenge at the camp moment. And Alex Markinson. And it looks like Kyle Richman is going to be on Superstar League for our individual fall preview special. He's going to get the job done. As number seven against number ten making his first speed of the base. Kyle Richman is our individual main event winner for our fall preview special. Great job! Out here, Jerry comes in second, and F1 King Swing will come in third with the next command speed. And that's gonna do it for our individual play on Charlie Singh. So, Kyle Richman gets the job done. That's why, congratulations to him. To him, he'll be back in two weeks. Back in a bit, do not go away. So, as I mentioned on the starter show, this is a double lane special. This is actually divided into two parts. So we just had our 12th individual races and we'd like to congratulate Kyle Richman on winning the individual main event this week. Next week we will have part 2 of our fall preview where the 40 years of us competing in tag teams including the defending champion out here Jr. and Chris Knuckles along with the Go-Getters 2.0 trying to defend tag team of my bonus. So in the meantime we'd like to give the superstars peace and quiet and sleep well for the near future. Alright, now it's time for our women's division play. As with last season, there will be 24 women's divas competing for the honors as women's division champion. We're going to present four of those races this week, and Paul's going to tell us all about its first race, which includes our defending champion. Right, Paul? Yes, for our first race, we have last year's first ever women's division champion, Paul E. Carter. All pumped up, ready to go for season two. Tonight, she'll be taking on Veronica Howard and Rihanna Simon. Also prepped up on practice, these three divas have been ready to wrap up for another side season. So let's get on the way with Women's Division Season 2. Everyone's on the clock and please start the bus! Here we go! Alright, so Pauline Carter is beginning her quest for repeat as the first ever Women's Division Champion. Last year, she beat out Sarah Grimmelly at the finals, and she was pretty pleased with the result here. Right now, it looks like Rihanna Simon will have come in on the lead up in front, and who will get the first B-Buzz of this season's women's division? It's Bavanka Howard who got it! As she joins the other two challenge, Harry, 
Right now, number one is going west, so he's going to be left behind in the competition for a while. And number seven, they are both heading for the water, and so is number one. As for US number two of the opening race on the US division, we may buy Rihanna Simon, who's trying to hold off Veronica Howard for second place. Right back. Right now, it is our defending champion, Pauline Carter, who's safely in the lead at the current one. As number eight, who leads over the five to a challenge, takes next to Mance Beavers. And we are passing the one minute mark of this opening race. Right now, it looks like number six is getting left behind the competition. And number two, Tarns for more. As the next Beavers we may buy, number one, who's trying to buy with number eight in the lead over the five to a challenge. And we are Simon. And right now, Ranga Howard is trying to catch up. With our defending champion Pauline Carter trying to hold on numbers one, they're battling for third place in the one, and it is number six who gets the turn, leaving numbers two and seven in the dust. Back in the fun, Pauline Carter better watch out. Vaga Howard and the other switch are trying to catch up to her in a hurry. Will she be able to defend the lead? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number six, and he's coming along. And look at this, Rihanna Simon with all his powers back in this one. And who got the next one? It is Baraka Howard. That makes her second speed burst of the race. And right now, numbers two and seven back on the back are both going to rest. These two are going to be left behind and accomplish for a while. By the way, it looks at it. We're at two minutes right now. And it is number one who gets number two, making his second speed burst of the race. I think fans of Yana Simon will be pleased with the result. Looks like Yana Simon is going to be the first winner of the 2017 2018 Winners Division season. Yep, Rihanna Simon holds on for the midway. So Rihanna Simon takes the first win of this year's Women's Division season. Great job on Rihanna. Yep, that's why Rihanna will have a better season this year. And as more Simon coming up, we're just getting started. Do not go away. Alright, now let's proceed to race number two, where we have last year's runner-up. That's why right, last year's runner-up was Sarah Granberry. And she's taking on Jessica Claymore. Five that when we all know the love. And one of the new divas this year, Trisha Davidson. This is just one of the new child that's going to participate in the 24 minutes division man roster. So let's see what happens here. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, let's rock this place! Alright, so last year, Sam Grimley was a little bit disappointed. After having the number one seed in the playoffs, Sam Grimley was denied by Pauline Carter last minute. Now she's trying to fulfill her redemption season this year for season two. Right now on the free child going to April, and it's going to be Trisha Hall, Trisha Davidson who's going to have come in on the lead up in the front. As the first superstar I guess beat us is Jessica Claymore who's flying with the one along with Trisha. And right now number seven is getting left behind in the competition all the way back. As number one was Beavis, number two of this race, finally number eight in the dust over at the bridges. Sarah Grimberry and number two are swimming like crazy. Sarah Grimberry is trying his best to make the pass from number two. And she will be, because number two is Gordon. As number eight will get a turn now, trying to lead the other sewage child in the dust. They catch up to number two in the lead over five sewage child. Number six and seven are getting left behind the competition. We're approaching one minute mark as number one will get another turn. That makes it second speed west to the base. And back with fun, Jessica and Trisha are battling for the lead. Battling neck to neck in the current moment. Trying desperately to get back in this one as we head back into number one. And look at that. Sarah Grimmer is before us. So number one will move up a couple of places though at that time. Right now number seven and eight, seven and six are getting left behind the competition. Which one of them will get the next command speed bus? It is number six, that's who. Now he's trying to make the pass from number seven for the life. Meanwhile, Jessica and Trisha are climbing up the wall. We'll soon know who will have the advantage when they get to the home stretch of this exciting race. Next pass belongs to number seven. He's trying to lead number six in the dust. These two shall continue to fight for do life on the way in the back. And who got the next one? It is number two, that's who. Now leaning over the five to the child and Sarah Grimley. And back in the home stretch, it looks like Jessica Claymore will have a little bit of room ahead of Trisha Davidson. I think Jessica Claymore is going to sell by any easy victory today. Yep. As number eight will have the next command speed bus. Jessica Claymore holds off Trisha Davidson to win in her opening race of the 2017 Women's Division season. So Jessica Claymore is off to a very good start. 
as number seven will close on the speed question race, leading number six in the box. All right, Jesse the Claymore starts off season two with a victory. That's right. Let's see how long the way lasts. Back in a bit. Do not go away. And now, who do we have next? Race number three will feature Helen Benjamin, Tiffany Anderson, and Betsy Hill. Yes, welcome, Betsy Hill, to the Chow Racing family. We wish you good luck in the 2017 Winter Solution season. And there's a look at the lineup. So let's see what happens here. The players line up ready to go. Everyone is on the clock and train well. Please start the race. All right, so last year, Helen Benjamin had a lot of fun in her debut season, winning the third place match against Olivia Fortin after settling a loss to Sarah Grimberry in the 2017 playoffs. Now she's on the road to get back in the playoffs for another chance to reach the Women's Division Championship. And there she goes, busting down the line. She leads over the competition in the current one, and she's going to be heading for the water, trying to gain some ground in the early run, as the first superstar against people is number six who's trying to gain some ground over at the bridges along with Betsy Hill and Tiffany Anderson. And right now, number one is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. That's Beavis number two in this race, we made by number seven, who's also trying to stay alive in the game. Right now, Helen Benjamin is right on his tail. She's doing a pretty good job here in pace. Number eight is right on her tail at the current point. And who will get the next one? It is Betsy Hill, one of the new divas for Channel 18 2013, battling with Tiffany Anderson for four points in pack. Right now, number one is getting left behind in the competition. He really needs to get the speed bus, but let's head back to Betsy Hill. And down goes Tiffany Anderson. That's what costs the damage. Helen Benjamin, back up in front, is approaching the wall. As the next BS we made by, number six. That makes his second speed race. Going in third place ahead of the pack, and by now Tiffany Anderson is getting left behind in competition. She's the last place in the third one, but it's number one who gets the next command to beat us. And back up in front, Helen Benjamin is approaching the home stretch, passing the waterfall. I don't think Tiffany or Betsy will be able to catch up to Helen Benjamin in time. Yep, she is approaching home stretch. Next BS belongs to Tiffany Anderson. As Helen Benjamin is at the home stretch, no one is going to catch up to Helen Benjamin in a hurry. Helen Benjamin is going to start his 2017 season strong. As uh, number 6 takes another time making his first three of base. Helen Benjamin starts off her 2017 season with a bang. She wins her opening race of the 2017 season. Well done by Helen Benjamin. As number 8 will fall from the speed of race, making his second speed of race. As number 7 can sing the last place blues. Alright, how are management winning this one? And we got one more race coming up, that's right. But first, let's hear a word from this. Alright, Paul, we have time for one more race in this pod. That's right, race number four will feature Olivia Fortune, Felicia Brown, and Dorothy Harrison. So, on behalf of everyone else who are on Chow Racing, we'd like to welcome Felicia and Dorothy to the Chow Racing family. Let's hope for best of luck in the 2013 season. Who we'll loves the free demon on the quest for victory? And let's have a chow race! Alright, so Olivia Fortin was on the verge of her women's championship, but she lost to Pauline Carter in the playoffs. And on the verge of third place, she was defeated by Helen Benjamin. A sad and tough loss to wind up in four points this year. But maybe this year will be different for Olivia Fortin as she begins her second season as a women's division superstar. Right now she has the lead over Felicia Brown in the current morning. And who got the winning cards this time around? It is Dolce Harrison. That's who. She is heading for a while over the other chow. And right now number one is getting left behind in the competition. As the US number two in this race, we may buy number two, who leaves number one in the dust. And right now it is Olivia Fortune who has to come in on the lead back up in front. And who will get the next command on the speed bus? It is going to be made by Dolce Harrison, making her second speed bus race. Trying to catch up to Felicia Brown, who is in second place in the back. Right now, a couple of Silver Child Paws before went along with Dolce Harrison and Cameron. As the next speed bus will be made by number six, who desperately needs to catch up very now and then. Now trying to get it back in this one. And Olivia Fortune is going to rest. That means Felicia Brown will have a privilege of catching up to her in a hurry. As 
damage. We head back into number six, and down he goes. That's what comes to damage. Numbers one and two are getting left behind, battling for D life. These two gentlemen don't want to be left behind in the competition, but I don't think they're going to get to be right now. Next, we us belong to number eight, who's trying to lead over five to the five third hand number seven. And back by fun, it looks like the Leah Fortune is pushing to the top of the wall. She is making the pass through the wall fall, and it's Felicia Brown who gets her turn now, trying to hold off Dolce Harrison for second place of the pack. And right now, numbers one and two in the back are Warriors, so they're going to be left behind for sure. As number two leaves number one and that's going to be number two, making his second speed of the base. And back with fun, Olivia Fortin has to face all of the ladies and gentlemen. Olivia Fortin is the winner of this, of the last race of this week. As number six, better to close out the first part of these divas for this first part of the race. And that's going to do it for this race. Alright, so Olivia Fortin. Time to pack on your bags, because Olivia Fortin is the winner. That's why time to pack on the bags when we come back. Don't go away. Well, that's it for now. We'll be back next week to present the tag team and the rest of the women's division races. I've told that it's a franchise. Remind you to tune in next week and keep on smiling. Bye bye for now. This is Fall Headboard Speaking. See you next week for part two of our Fall Preview Special. Good night, everybody.